Hi, this is Ken Christensen, and this is BHC Today. You know, recently I've had comments from various members of the congregation, not a lot, but a few, that uh, have asked how exactly the leadership team functions at our church. And so I want to just share with you a little bit about that, and I'm just going to be very brief. And uh, after I'm done, if you have any questions, you can contact me or any of the team members for that matter. So to start with, I'd like to uh, talk a little bit about how our church has transformed from uh, our governing, uh, the way we govern, our polity in the past till now. And so just within the last three years, we've changed. And so instead of a board, we now have a leadership team. Here's what the, our supporting documents say about that. Uh, number one, we have a statement of faith. And the purpose of BHC is based on the scripture, Matthew 28, 18 through 20. And that scripture says, uh, Go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe everything that I've commanded you. And the second scripture is Mark 12, 30 through 31. Love the God with all your heart, with all your soul, and all your mind, and love your neighbors as yourself. Those are the two uh, scriptures that we've set apart uh, as in our purpose, in our mission. And um, our mission is that we will spread the gospel throughout the world and give spiritual growth to our members. Our statement of faith has a number of different points. There's about nine different things that are involved in our statement of faith. One is that the, the Bible is our guide on everything that we do. It's God's word. It's inerrant. And also that Jesus Christ will return visibly. We wait for his return. And we believe in the sanctity of human life, which begins at conception. Finally, the last one, and I haven't, I haven't touched on all of these, but the ones that just kind of come to my mind. Uh, we uphold biblical marriage as being between one man and one woman. Now, in this same document... Um, it's a section entitled Authority, Governance, and Structure. And let me read from you what it says about the role of the leadership team. The role of the leadership team is to provide direct support, guidance, and counsel to the lead pastor. And in his ministry role, establish guiding principles. And guiding principles are a document which we um, use as our guideline for how we're to conduct business. And, uh, and to evaluate the lead pastor's performance against measurable ministry principles. And so if you go back, our very number one purpose and function is to support the pastor. Second thing that we have to do is to hold him accountable. But I think more, more importantly, it lists the fact that we support the pastor first. And so the leadership team has really two, those two functions, support for the pastor and hold him accountable. Who holds the leadership team accountable? The congregation does. And, and that's very important, and it's spelled out in our documents. Uh, the next thing I wanted to touch on is the document that we use to, as our guide, and we have what's called guiding principles. So if you think about it as, um, as a football game, uh, there's boundaries, and the game is played within those boundaries. And so this document is our boundary for how we conduct our business. Our uh, Pastor Rob is our chief operating officer. And we're his team that support him and keep him, hold him accountable. In the document also are what's called... Um, boundary principles, and like I was mentioning earlier... So anything that the pastor wants to do within those boundaries, he's our chief uh, operating officer. He has the, the authority to do that. We have our budget, and it's our role as a leadership team to work with him and support him. So what happens at our meetings? Uh, meetings are really relatively short. Uh, we open with uh, Pastor Rob maybe talking about some things that he wants to uh, bring to our attention maybe an upcoming conference that he's planning on attending or uh, maybe a new uh, sermon series that he's going to preach. 
And, uh, and then we, it closes with each of the leadership team members having an opportunity to, to say something. But we come away with one voice, and also that's supported in the document as well. Now, um, with that said, why the document itself, that which we use as our guiding uh, principles, is in the church office. If anybody wants to see those, uh, those are there. And the, the minutes from our meetings are there as well. Um, we have six members. We meet once a month. And uh, Dick Cobbs, Jim Coltwait will be going off after this next year. And then um, John Baird and myself will be going off a year after that. And then the new members are Susan Young and Tom Scott. Um, so in a, in a brief nutshell, that's really how we function. And with that said, I'll, I'll leave it there. Uh, again, if you have any questions, let me know. And thanks for this time, and happy trails till we meet again.